Hi, so today I'm going to show how to flash drone in onto the uh, Emacs Nighthawk 280 Pro with the built-in uh, flight control board. Uh, basically, we're going to use Clean Flight to actually do the flashing because the uh, NAS32 boards that this is based on don't have the bootloader set up in a way that drone and can talk to them natively, so we have to cheat a little bit here for the flashing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Clean Flight, or if you're still on Base Flight, this will work with the Base Flight Configurator as well. You'll want to make sure Auto Connect is turned off, because that could create some issues here. But we'll go ahead and connect up our board. You can't see it, but I just did. And we'll connect here just to show that I do indeed have Clean Flight running on this board. And there it is, reacting and all that good stuff. So we'll disconnect, and we'll come to the firmware flasher, and we're going to load a local firmware. And I've already gone to my program files, drone in firmware directory, and we're going to grab the EF underscore NAS32 hex file. Okay. And then we're going to say flash firmware. And it's going to fail once, usually. Fail twice. Come on. Well, sometimes it goes right over, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, you know what? I have no reboot sequence turned on, so we want to turn that off and hit flash. And there it goes. Now it's flashing. Yeah, I had that disabled because I was booting with the, I was flashing with the boot jumpers, which I'll show in a few minutes here. So we're going to let this flash, even though we're not following their instructions to flash, to not flash non-clean flight, well, hardware, so I guess we're safe. Programming successful. Okay, now we can no longer connect in clean flight because we're not running clean flight, but if we come to drone in, and we switch back to COM7 here and connect. We'll now start to connect. We have this uh, warning here about actuator module in critical state and manual control in critical state because we aren't configured yet. If we come over to flight data though, we'll see things are indeed moving and they're all moving correctly, but our servo outputs aren't configured, neither is our RC input. That will be our next task, which will be to set all of this up. But I'm not going to show that just yet, because I want to save that for a separate video on how to set this up. Instead, what I'm going to show next is how you can go back to Clean Flight if you really want to. Um, you'll just want to come into the Clean Flight Configurator, and you're going to enable the no reboot sequence we had to disable before. Choose your board as the NAS right there. Keep full chip erase on, of course. And we will, uh, this time, I wish I had this on camera to show, but my computer dies when I try to do two cameras at once. Uh, the boot pins on the uh, Nighthawk 280 are just to the left of the VBAT connector, and they're two tiny little pads you'll want to find something that can bridge across them. I use a pair of fine tip tweezers. I get it right on there. I get my USB cord almost all the way in. And then I get my tweezers on those boot pads. And then bring it in and nope, I didn't have it because I've got my blinking green. So we'll try again. Connect up. Put out my two boot pads, and there we go. That time I only have the blue light, which means I'm in bootloader mode. So I can now load firmware online, so I can load the latest version of uh, the NAS target here, flash it. Boot to do to do, and just that quick and easy, we've gone from clean flight to drone in, and now we'll be back on clean flight. So it's really nothing to be scared of. If you don't like it, you can always go back. Um, 
using this procedure, you just have to short those boot pins out. And here we go. I can connect now, and I can show that, indeed, we are connected. The one thing to remember is you will wipe out all of your configuration when you do this. So you definitely don't uh, want to do this unless you've backed up your configuration if you want to be able to get back to where you were. So I'm there, and I'm going to do this one more time the other way, which is, uh, well, no, I don't have to now. Uh, I'm on clean flight, so I can just go straight to the firmware flasher, load local firmware, select my drone in file, and whoop, disable the no reboot, and that will flash. And there it goes. And once again, we're just going to rewrite drone in using clean flight. And it's about halfway there. Three quarters almost. Oh, we're on verifying. This will be done here in no time, right? Right. Doot. Programming successful. So we're done with clean flight. We bring up drone in. And I am still connected from before. We'll disconnect, reconnect, and there we are. We're back. Flying drone in again. And fully connected. So, next video will be how to uh, do your basic configurations now that you're flashed. Hope that helps. If you like it, give me a thumbs up down below. Subscriptions are always welcomed. And uh, please try Drone and give it a try and let us know what you think about it. We have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter account, and there's the uh, IRC channel where you can find most of the uh, Drone and developers if you really want to uh, get some help. All right, hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys soon.